Hi guys, how are we all doing? Let's get into today's video! Hi guys, so before I get into today's video, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button if you haven't already, and that notification bell because it helps with my algorithm and comment as well. And also I put in my Amazon wish list in case anybody fancies treating my fairy babies or myself. You don't have to if you don't want to. The reason why I do so is because, and the reason why I'm saying this is because I, people have emailed me asking for my address, and this one thing I will not do is give out my personal details. So please don't ask again. Anyway, so I'm just at my appointment, just waiting to go in, and oh, my arms hurting. I'm trying just to have the door open slightly because it's like warm in here. I didn't get up till half past ten this morning. I went to bed about quarter past eight last night. I was absolutely drained. Um, but that's life with fibro and also mental health. So today's video, I'm going to talk about mental health. So, yeah. Let's get into today's video then. I think I've already said it, but hey up. So, like I say, I'm at my appointment with high HTT only because the blah, 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 get discharged with the with them next week with my worker but they want to keep just because they had a good day on Sunday they said might not happen the following day the following day so they just want to keep me uh keep seeing me until I feel 100 percent and at the minute I don't feel 100 percent last night I was drained and made with like mush so life living with mental health is it has its challenges i'm not kidding you from one minute you can wake up feeling poop like poop and you just don't want to get up you don't want to get dressed for the day you just don't want to do basically anything you feel really down in the dumps depressed and you know so it's okay not to be okay and i feel like sometimes people don't like talking about mental health because people judge you and take the mick out and i don't think that's fair because everybody has a little bit of mental health in them just some struggle more than others uh i've had mental health for oh, a number of years even as early as a youngster but my younger years wasn't great due to bullying and that impacted on my low mood depression and that's it just spiraled out of control after that um i did try to go get help at 16 i just got told that there was no point in referring me to therapy because, what did he say? I probably won't show up. I'm like, how do you know? Because I got attacked when I was 16 by a group of eight girls. I talked to my mate last night about it. My neighbour, should I say. Um, and they hit me on the head and, yeah. And I think that's probably why my memory and my speech is a bit off as well as fibro and being dyslexic and whatever. Anyway, I don't know. But... That's what my, I remember the GP, I'm not going to give his name, but I remember what he looks like, because I'm like, hey, he looks like my dad, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to get into personal thingy, I'm not dissing him, I'm just saying that's what he said to me when I was 16, um, and then that's obviously put me off asking for help after that. Um, so throughout the years, yeah, I've struggled with our mood, real, the past four years since COVID, um, Obviously, I wasn't aware of what services was out there for mental health. I had, I had CPN up in Scotland when I lived up there for so many years. But down here, I wasn't aware there was a bit more help here. So, when I got offered it, I took it. And yeah, I've, been, I've had a few hospital admissions because of that, due to trigger trigger warning here, suicidal thoughts um attempts of unaliving but i don't really get into personal details why that made me feel like that but 
I'm getting better and that's all that counts. But, you know, I'm not, mental health does, does not just disappear. One second, I need to check the time because the appointments. Oh, got 10 minutes. All right. Um, so, mental health just look, doesn't disappear. It's, yeah, it might, it might improve over time where you feel stable. But, like mine at the minute, it keeps creeping back, having a little at me, and then I, then I start feeling a bit okay again. And then it, it's like... Like what do I said it to one of the workers on Sunday. I said it's like it sees me getting happy, and I want to do this, and I want to do that, and it's like oh, I'll just creep in and go, no, you're not. Um, but my struggles have been like low mood, depression, PTSD. I've had a few flashbacks. I had a bit of a nightmare last night. And I hate it when you have those nightmares that you remember the following day. And most, and some of it was just to do with my car. And I think, because I was speaking about my car issues yesterday with my son, I think I dreamt about it. And it sounds stupid because I was like driving, I parked up on a curb, but both the front tyres were flat. And then next minute, I come back to get my car and it being towed away. And oh God, yeah, weird, I have some right weird dreams. Anyway, so. That's my struggles. Some days, I, and when my fibro it's as well, that affects my mental health because I feel like, who wants to be in pain 24-7? I'm trying to deal with that um, at the minute. So I'm trying to find different ways to try and ease that. But then I don't want to be relying on medication for the rest of my life. <sighs> but if needs must, needs must. But that's my life. Struggling with mental health, it's up and down all day long. I mean, one minute I can be fine, next minute I'm crying, next minute I'm just fed up, and next minute I'm just bed bound. And I just go from hour to hour each day because no, no day is the same <laughs> in every, anybody's life, to be honest. But the only way sometimes I only come out is if I've got appointments or if I need to go somewhere like. If I've got a bit of money, that's I want to go do that Poundland challenge that I said I'd do. Um, but I'm going to probably get the bus into town with that one because at the minute, I my city centre is all one way system and I don't know how to get to the um, my local city centre car park. Um, but I can park there. But anyway, look, my mind, and that's another thing. My mental, my mind, it just goes from one extreme mood to another extreme mood. So I can be like happy, hey, la 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 la, to, you know, and crying. But when I'm at home, I try and put a brave face on so my kids don't see it because not, you know, that's something they don't want to see. So majority of the time, I'm sitting in the room on my own. Sometimes they'll come in, watch a bit of TV, then bugger off. And then last night, my son came in, brought Xbox through, sat and watched a movie. I couldn't concentrate on thing. And Olivia came through. I said, you know what, I'm going to have to go to bed for a bit. I ended up sleep, getting up throughout the night to go to the bathroom and I oh, was fuming because I went in the front room and it were a mess. Sweet wrappers and stuff like that. They're not bothered cleaning up. I they left their lamp on. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna have to go love you and leave you. I'm gonna go because I've got a major heartburn. I've got milkshake to try and relieve it, and I need to go inside. So that's my video for today. Life as a mental health um with struggles. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are. Do you struggle with mental health and how do you cope with it? Because anyone else if you can if you cope, if you manage to find a thing that helps you let me know because i'll give it a try anyway guys see you later